Today's film review is on Mike Boone, the Broncos' newest addition at running back. They signed to a two-year deal. He's going to come in and compete for the number two spot with Royce Freeman, Levante Bellamy, potentially a rookie in this year's NFL draft. The thing about Boone that stands out to me, look, he's a key special teams guy, but he can contribute on offense. He really didn't have the chance. He sat behind Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison, but when he did get on the field, he made the most of his opportunities, as you can see right here, getting to the edge, extending for the pylon, and getting the touchdown. Mike Boone is a four-way player on special teams. He plays punt, he plays punt return, he plays kickoff, and he plays kickoff return. As you can see, he's highlighted right here. I want you guys to keep an eye on him. He's going to come down here. This won him a special teams player of the week for the Minnesota Vikings in week four against the Houston Texans. There's the release. Now he's tracking downfield. The returner, the returner is right here. So Mike Boone, he's going to be tracking down to try to find him, and he's trying to fight off that block. He gets off the hip, and he comes up, and he pops the hell out of the return guy, forces a fumble. I'm going to show you guys here from the other angle. I like special teams play right here. Obviously, number 23, you guys can see him right here. So let's take a look at what he's going to do. The ball is going to be snapped. He's going to be that protector, 1-1001. His guy's going to start retreating back, so he's going to track downfield across the hash. Now he's locating. Now this guy's trying to ride his hip. So for him, these guys, Minnesota, they're trying to force this guy to run this way, which is great because now you got these guys trailing, and then you got Mike Boone right here. So you're going to see Boone track downfield. He's going to pop him. Knocks the ball out. The Vikings get it on their own 35-yard line. Good position right there. He can help change that for the Broncos. This is what Mike Boone could do, folks. He's got the ability to plant his foot in dirt and then get into that hole and then get upfield. Now, it's going to be one of those stretch plays to the offensive left side. He finds the hole. He makes a cut right here, and he gets upfield, makes a guy miss. That change of pace is what the Broncos need. Phil Lindsay provided that. But Mike Boone, he's a little bulkier in terms of size and stature here. I want to show you guys, too. This is just a simple stretch play. I want you guys to watch him plant his foot. Okay, the ball is going to be snapped right here. Bam. Now, as you can see, there's the there's the seal right here, the hole. This guy's supposed to seal right here. He's going to get upfield, and then the safety is going to be coming down. He's going to cut like he's going to go inside, and then he's going to get to the left side up and outside the field right there. Bam. Makes Prince of Mukamara, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's Prince of Mukamara, makes him miss. And obviously this was a big game for Mike Boone against the Bears in 2019. Now this is a good demonstration by Boone about his change of pace, what he can provide here. Now the Chicago Bears, they're going to front load everybody. They're sending these guys trying to play the run heavy. They're going to send Eddie Jackson off the edge. The guard right here is going to pull, so more than likely an indicator he's trying to run it here on the inside. It clogs up, so then he bounces it to the outside, and then he does the rest. I mean, he makes ha-ha Clinton Dix look silly right here, so I want you guys to watch right here. He's, he's getting him turned up. I mean, as a, as a safety, if you're getting turned left to right, that's not a good thing, but let's throw it to the other angle here just so you guys can see that the obviously blocking scheme right here, you have an inside one technique, you have a three technique right here, and then you're playing Khalil Mack obviously on the edge, and then you're sending... Uh, Eddie Jackson here, and then here's Ha Ha Clinton Dix, and we're going to be Ha ha at him here in just a moment here. But obviously, the inside run is not there, right? Because this guy plugs through. So he's going to cut it back to the outside here, which is a good decision by him. But now watch the speed. Watch him moving left, right, left. Ha Ha Clinton Dix doesn't know where he's at. He doesn't know if it's Sunday or if it's Tuesday. That's a good run there by Mike Boone. Mike Boone in this game is going to score two touchdowns against the Chargers. You got to be able to punch it in the red zone. You're going to have a backside leak, lead block here by number 84. This guy's closing off here. He's supposed to kick out. He's going to see that. He makes the cut, and then he makes the linebacker miss. The linebacker tries to arm tackle him. He's going to spin inside. He's going to give the Vikings a touchdown here. Like I said, Broncos fans need to give Mike Boone a chance, folks. I know that you're trying to compare him to Phillip Lindsay. I know that Phillip Lindsay's a fan favorite. I get that. I understand Broncos fans' frustration, but Mike Boone, I think, can be a fit for what the Broncos want to run offensively because a lot of it is the Pat Shermer style, and I think that he bodes well, which is a big reason why he actually came over. Here comes Boone's second touchdown rush of the game, folks. And the thing I want you to keep an eye on is the stacked box right now that the Chargers have. I mean, you got everybody plugging to play the run. You got the outside guys. You got your inside linebackers who are supposed to fill. It is legitimately heavy run formation, right? Heavy run defense. And he's going to just run this on the inside. Now, the hole opens up. You got to pull. You got to kick out here by the fullback. And then he's just going to get skinny. That's the one thing I like. He, he manipulates. He can shoulder lean, get skinny, fit between these tight crevices and then power his way into the end zone second touchdown of the day for Mike Boone in this game let's take a look at it from the other angle here because look this is 
straight up one tech, three tech, three tech. You have double threes, which is always tough to go against. Plug outside, Derwin James outside. Plug right here on the inside shade. And then you got fill, fill, and then fill. So really, every hole is accounted for by the Chargers. But in terms of execution, they crash down. They crash down one-on-one. -on -one. He's coming back to try to block this guy. He's coming up here to try to lead and be on the kick out. Maybe if number 23 tries. And then, bam, you're going to see him get skinny. He's going to hit that hole. Bam! Touchdown, Mike Boone. Not much of a sample size on Mike Boone, but I tell you what, he has various explosive runs in his history and his playing career. He's going to get to the outside here against the Raiders, make a cut up on the inside. Bam, get back to the outside. That's a big time play. That wears defenses down. Yes, the sample size is small, but what we've seen from Boone on the sample size is the fact that he can rip off these large chunks, these big time runs, because he's got the ability to plant his foot, get upfield, get north-south quickly. He doesn't run a lot east to west, which is great. He runs straight north-south. He finds that one hit, that one cut, and then he's gone.